With Aardvark, you can automate text message reminders straight from your calendar to avoid no-shows and forgotten appointments. It's all powered by some integrations that link to your CRMs like HubSpot, Pipedrive, and others that we may add in the future. Imagine with your sales team, you're going to have a lot of leads coming through the pipeline. So are your leads being reminded is one question, and are they being reminded in the right way? Email reminders never get read in time, but text messages do, making it the best way to get more leads showing up. And as you have more leads show up for those meetings, you're going to increase your conversions overall. And that's how Aardvark has come to play. So today I'm going to show you how to set up, create templates, and we're going to send our first few automated messages straight from our calendar. I'm going to go to this integrations tab right here. First off, I'm going to cl click the Google Calendar. I can also do Outlook if I wanted to. I'm going to do Google. Click Continue. And then it syncs the calendar. So here I can select my uh, default calendar that I want to have Aardvark watch. If I have multiple calendars in this calendar, so such as like a dedicated demo calendar or interview calendar, I can click these here. Right now I just have this one, so I'm just gonna select that. And just like that, Google is connected. The, the next powerful piece I need to do is connect my CRM. So I can connect this here or I can just click HubSpot directly. And choose my account. And I am connected. So what it's doing here is it's associating the email uh, of the person you're inviting in your calendar with the HubSpot contact record. So I'm gonna show you over here what I have set up in HubSpot. So I have Jane Smith and John Doe. So those are some example users that I'm gonna walk through today. I need to create a template. So I'm gonna to go to the message templates. I don't have anything here yet. But what I wanna do is create a reminder for when we're about to start a meeting. So you see, I'm automatically showing like an example here in the, in the right. I have a my rep name, so that right now my name is demo user, and then interval, which is how much more time until the meeting starts. And then I have a link. So that is my dedicated landing page, which I can customize with my own colors and logos. I can also do other things with this. I can do my name. Let's actually call out their name too. Guest first. Let's do interval. We have the ability to add the, the Zoom link. If we don't want to do the landing page directly, we can actually just add this field, which is basically the the chat link or the location that you designate on the event. So we're just going to stick with that. So you notice I can actually customize this. So I'm going to change this to five minutes before. And then I'm going to select who I want this to go to. So I can select confirmed attendees, tentative, unconfirmed, declined. This is actually looking at the calendar's attendee status and choosing who to send to. And then you can also send to your, your sales rep so they can be reminded too. That could be the other side of the equation. If your sales rep is not showing up, then you have a problem. So I'm gonna keep it like this. And then I'm also gonna set a filter that includes demo. So I only want this meeting reminder to go out for the calendar invites that have demo in the title. I can also do that for description, but I'm gonna leave that blank. And we're just gonna go from there. And if I had multiple calendars, I can select them there here too. Okay, so I'm gonna click save template. Five minutes reminder. I'm gonna go ahead and create an appointment with one of my demo users. 
So I'm going to invite this demo prospect. All I need is their email. So let's see what time it is, 8.22. So I'm gonna set one for 8.30. Um, demo me with Starlet Stark Industries. And then I'm gonna add the guest and the, the meeting link. So you notice, so if you remember before in the template, I wanted this meeting link to show up. So I'm going to click save. All right, so as long as this prospect does not decline, we have all the filters set up correctly in our template. But if I did want to have one specific to the declined, I could do so as well. All right, so we're going to wait for that to come in. In the meantime, let's head back to Aardvark, go to our sending calendar. We can see that that calendar invite successfully went into Aardvark. We can see that it's going to go out at 8.25. It's using the five-minute template, and it's going to go to that user. It looks like it came in. You see it says, hey, John, it's demo user. I wanted to remind you of our meeting in five minutes. Decided to jump on this to join the meeting here. So you see it actually linked straight to the, the meeting link. It had all the fields that were in my HubSpot CRM and it sent straight to that phone number, even though I never added the phone number to the calendar invite. It automatically associated that email with the CRM record. This is a great admin capable tool that you can automate messages for not only yourself, but for your entire team. So I'm gonna go ahead and click team. Um, I have my user here. I'm gonna invite a teammate. Send the invitation. And you can actually see the percentage that they've set up. So you'll wanna make sure that they've connected to their calendar so that everything's being automated correctly. So you'll see their invite status, if they accepted yet, if they've logged in yet. So I'm going to add their name. Let's name them Fred. I'm gonna manage phone numbers. So you see they're all assigned to this communal phone number. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a phone number that I want to use. So if this rep is um, going to like focus on a certain area, I can choose that type of phone number. If it's international, I can pick an international number. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and choose. Let's go with this one for now. Confirm. Then I click manage. And now you see it's a number that I can select. So now they have their own dedicated phone numbers that's assigned to that user. Um, here's where you can actually select forwarding replies and forwarding replies to email as well. So this just allows you to really control who's, who it's sending from and also get replies from those messages. So accidentally had like someone come up, you wanna make sure you're getting those replies. And you can see here, all the messages that are in queue, everything that's been sent, delivered, replied, the stats for your team members. So like what messages are coming out for each team member. Um, and you can also identify any potential issues if there's a particular team member that nothing's sending out from.